Hey guys, it's Baku Sagi, and we're back for more Earthbound. On the last episode, we went through Dungeon Man at a hell of a time, and we were able to borrow his submarine, a very yellow one, and come across the ocean to Deep Darkness. So, why do they call this Deep Darkness? Well, for one thing, uh, when you walk in the swamp here, you lose health, much as much like if you had a uh, cold or sunstroke. And second, these trees are black. What the hell? Anyway, uh, there's another important thing to note about this place. Uh, you can find magic truffles here or there. <laughs> Look at one of those stupid moles. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother searching all of them out. Uh, I just know that the easiest one to find is right here by this tree. So yeah, if you want to if you want to get those, then, you know, that's your call. I personally stick with brain food lunches at this point because, well, 300 HP and 50 PP. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, also, if you hadn't noticed, Pooh left us to go learn the Star Storm. Anyway, this guy here, as you can see, I, I got a, a few bottle rockets. Uh, I'm not really going to use them that much because it just feels like overkill. <laughs> So yeah, this, this video is going to be pretty slow going because as you can see, when you're going through the swamp, you move pretty damn slow. And whoa, a banana, dang. Everything is going dark. It's kind of creepy. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh shit. Uh, well, I guess now is as good a time as any to use the Hawkeye. And hey, I can see. Let there be light. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure you can make your way through the swamp without using the Hawkeye, but it's generally recommended, especially because there's so many places where you, you know, go in the deep water. All right. Anyway, uh, there are a few stretches where there, are, where it's really long journey through the deep water, so you want to keep an eye on your HP, just to, you know, stay safe. Uh, I think there's another truffle over here somewhere, but I'm not really going to bother looking since it's all deep water over there. But yes. You do move very slowly when you're going through the deep parts. It's kind of unfortunate. Holy shit, what the hell is that? It, I, um... Okay, well, we got these first. Okay, this guy, the Zapiel, he uses electrical shock attacks. Uh, he's he's not really too much to worry about, except if you get ganged on by a few of them. Anyway, this guy is more of a threat. He, if you remember the mini barf, <laughs> he's basically the same thing. Like he'll burp at you and make you cry, and he's just a nuisance. Uh, and Jeff gets hit again. Well, there goes our teddy bear. Fantastic. Anyway, we got rid of this stupid pile thing. Oh boy. Why can't you hit Paula? She's got the Franklin badge. Fool. And wow, Jeff took a lot of damage there. Oh, what do you know? PSI Carmel. Not bad. Whoa! That kind of looks like Master Belch. Well, whatever. Haha, <laughs> green swirl. Here we have the big pile of puke. He's pretty gross looking. And he has the, pretty much the same attacks as Master Belch. That is not Jeff. I'm, here's Jeff. Yeah, he can make you nauseous, which is super annoying. I think he's got a pretty powerful attack too, but... Yeah. There are a lot of enemies here in this place. It's just... It's long and kind of hard and more annoying than anything else. I, I don't really care for it that much, but whatever. There are quite a few presents scattered around, too. Like uh, a beef jerky. That's a decent food item. If you like to use food. Or these stupid eels. Everyone ganged up on Ness in that fight. That was stupid. Yeah, the only time those eels are really a problem is when they attack you in groups. 
So here we have the hard crocodile. Like his uh, predecessors, he's got really powerful attacks, so get rid of him first if you get ganged up on. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure Freeze is effective on him. I don't know why I didn't use here for some reason. <laughs> yeah, the thing that sucks about Thunder and the equivalent attacks is like, once you have more people in your party, it'll almost always connect. It's just, there's no real way around it. What it what determines what it hits is how many people are in the party, I guess. Like, if you're fighting six enemies and use the spell, it's you will get a guaranteed hit. It's like if there's only one person on the if there's only one enemy on the screen, you have a one in six chance of hitting it, and you know so on and so forth. And it's the same for. Uh, for you. Like, once you get all four of your party members, then it, you're more than likely gonna get hit by something. So, that's what sucks about it. Okay. Oh! God damn it, are you serious? <sighs> Why are you following us all the way out here, you stalker? I, Jeff is still in the water! I... I don't get you, dude. Hey, bird, what do you have to say? Kweek! Village tenders comes nobody hearts because squeak! Okay. IQ capsule, Jeff can get that. Yeah, what is that? That pink thing over there? I don't want to know. I'm just going to walk this way now. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, apologies if I'm sounding odd. I'm still a little bit under the weather, to be honest. Like, my sinuses are they're not quite as bad as they were the other day, but I still sound kind of nasal, and there's probably another stupid eel. That eel took itself out with thunder. Ha 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 ha. Oh, God, another one. Dang, that was fucking fast. And Jeff is about to die again. The really stupid thing is that Nobody really seems to attack Paula. What the hell is this? It's completely broken. I thought I could fix it, but a re-examination. I noticed that there's no engine. Hmm. So wait, this is the helicopter that Pokey took when he fled from Foresight. And it crashed here. Where is that asshole? Ooh, a couple life needles that could be potentially useful. And yeah. This is where, uh... It kind of starts to branch. Like, you get some alternate paths going. And we have this guy here, the manly fish. <laughs> He's nothing to worry about. He's a total wimp. So, yeah, he does pretty piss poor attacks, and he, he just dies with a couple of hits, and he's a piece of shit. So, yeah, just take him out last if you ganked up. Yeah, see, look at that. Barely even 20 damage. What an idiot. Die. And he's dead. Yeah. There really are a ton of enemies in this place. I know I mentioned that before, but holy shit. Yeah. Walking through the swamps is terribly amusing, I know. Oh god. Moving tree. Two of them! Oh shit. Let's attack it. Okay, these guys, they're not so dangerous that you need to avoid them outright, but <laughs> they still explode when you hit them. They won't completely take you out now, but, like, the reason why I went to such pains to avoid them in Peaceful Rest Valley is because you have shit for HP, and I didn't want to attack them because, holy shit, I would die in one hit. It's, it's not quite as dangerous now, I mean... <laughs> well, he still dealt mortal damage, but you have much more HP now, which is, you know, it's it scrolls down much faster. And yeah, they're just they're still a pain, pretty much. But you don't have to outright avoid them when you encounter them now. If you can run away, that's good. But yeah, apart from that, not really anything too dangerous, I guess. Ooh, souvenir coin. I think I will give that to Jeff, and holy shit, I'm running out of inventory space. Let's see. 
believe this will give him a good, yep, good defense boost. Ugh, another one of these stupid trees. But yeah, while I usually give my defensive items to Paula, she, uh, Jeff honestly needs it too. And uh, another crocodile. God damn it. Yeah, not gonna lie, Jeff is pretty fragile himself, so yeah. If Paula's defense is looking good, then you want to give those items to Jeff. What is this? A rock candy! Sweet! Yeah, if you got your first one stolen or something, there is another one here. And how's my HP looking? Eh, doing alright. There is a really long instance of swamp that we get before long, and dang. Is this a uh, manly fish too? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Yeah, I was just checking that because in the manly fish, it does have a more powerful palette swap out here. And what is this? <laughs> These guys. You remember the stupid little, uh, stupid little slugs from Giant Step Cave? These guys are. <laughs> They are pretty much just the exact same thing, except with more HP. So, yeah. <laughs> Did nothing to worry about, just stomp on them. Ironically, they can and will leave behind salt packets. Which is very funny, considering that they're slugs. And you know what salt does to slugs. <laughs> uh, I think it's a pretty rare drop, though, so... <laughs> I mean, it's not that useful, it's just kind of a funny bit of irony. Oh, and here we go, and... Okay, the path is not there. Oh, shit. I'm not entirely sure where to go now. Okay, here we go. Now, the manly fish's brother. He is much more dangerous than, uh, this guy. He gets the frickin' boss music, even. Freeze doesn't bother him. He can use PSI. He has a very power he has a powerful attack. So get rid of him like like really fast. Just it's a terrible, terrible idea to let him live for very long. Oh yeah. One thing about him though, he will very rarely fight by himself. It'll almost always be with like a manly fish or something else. So yeah. Which really sucks because He's one of the enemies in the game that carries a very rare drop. Uh, I believe it's like, you have a 1 in 128 chance of getting a horn of life from him, which is like the exact same thing as a cup of life noodles. And for people who are really OCD and like to collect those things, it can be a very, very annoying thing. But anyway, what the hell is this? You may have forgotten, but I am the return of Belch. I fought you before. Hey you! Don't you remember my ripe odor? Belch has trained more and be returned much stronger. Burp! Belch has also changed his name to Puke! Barf! Vomit! Barf! Barf! Chuck! Chuck! Drowned to death in Puke! Don't you think that's an incredibly masculine taunt to throw at you? Oh god. And here we have Master Barf. The upgrade of Master Belch. Now, if you happen to have the fly honey on you, uh, hit... It will not work this time. You are shut out of luck. Except not because this guy is a total cream puff anyway. Um, just like before, he can make you nauseous, and he has a powerful continuous attack too, so he's a bit more dangerous than the original Barf, or Belch, or whatever. Oh. Oh. Fantastic. Well, that's okay, because we're just going to be using PSI and... Um, I'm not using a bottle rocket, I'm just gonna stick to the heavy bazooka. But yeah. He's basically the same before, except souped up. Oh yeah. He's not hard to take out at all, to be honest. I mean, he's just... Suddenly, Pooh swooped down from the sky! Pooh used his new power, PSI Star Storm! Holy shit, that was badass. Talk about a big damn hero's moment. God dang. Not to Casey bed. Huh. Welp. We got Pooh back, guys! This is awesome! And he totally beat the shit out of Master, B Master Barf. 
Dang. That was fucking awesome. Thanks, Pooh. You're a bro. Anyway, about that item that he dropped. The Casey Bat. Don't equip it. It has very high offense, but the drawback is that you will miss like three-fourths of the time if you try to attack with it. Uh, it's based on that old story, Casey at Bat, wherein, you know, the guy, baseball player, he's so overconfident that he totally fudges his... Um, like, he intentionally misses two of his two home runs or strikes or whatever. I don't know. He misses two hits. And then on the third one, he's so fucking overconfident that he legit whiffs on it. Thereby, like, cussing in the game or something. I mean, because he thinks he's so badass, so he's just like, oh, I can just miss everything. We still win. But nope. Not gonna happen. So, yeah. I wouldn't suggest selling it either because it only sells for like 19 bucks, which is totally worthless at this point in the game. <laughs> There is, it does have its uses though, and I will go into that in the next video. But yeah, I just keep it on you for now. Don't use it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it, bother using it at all because it's so shitty. But yeah, it's not worth selling and you can do something okay with it. And oh, uh, god damn it. So, let me take a second to go over Pooh's new power that he learned, Star Storm. The method of shaking off the stars which Pooh learned in his training. It deals about 360 points of damage to each enemy. It is fucking amazing. And it's a little bit pricey on the PP side, but holy shit. It's... You don't even have to worry about Pooh's PP since, uh, since if you have brain food lunches, he has like an infinite supply, and it's fucking amazing. So yeah, just... Don't even worry about using it. There is another enemy in this area that I want to go over, but I don't think I'm going to be seeing it anywhere. Hey, Magic Butterfly, get over here. What are you doing up there? You shouldn't be up there. Okay, anyway, hey, it's a cave. Whoa, what are these guys? They're shy. Huh. We're shy. Okay. What's this? <laughs> oh, a death ray. That sounds very ominous, and I'm going to have Jeff equip that immediately. Fucking sweet, yo. Weird junk. <laughs> okay. But all these little guys, they're cute. They're still shy. Huh. In me hole, in me have. Free. Stay? Uh, sure. Okay, you stay. <laughs> okay, well, these little guys, they, uh, don't have very good accommodations, and they don't seem very sociable, to be honest. Uh, hey, you look like a person of authority. Talk to us. We're all shy. Rumor, I heard there's a book to fix shyness there is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. Well, shit. We're shy. And just like in Saturn Valley, uh, another place with odd little creatures, there is a hot spring here. So if you've got a undesirable status condition, feel free to abuse it. This guy is a shot, but <laughs> he's shy, so he won't sell you anything yet. We're shy. Dang, are all you guys shy? There's only one tender who's not shy. It's me, Bubby. You know what? There's something scary that comes from the underground. So we covered up the hole. There are lots of dinosaurs there. I went there once, but I came right back because I was so surprised. There is a talking stone that talks a lot. Do you want to go and see? I understand. But I'm not as strong as I look. I'm sorry, I guess I can't help you. The guy next to me is strong, but he lacks conversation skills. He needs to overcome his shyness first. Shy. That we are. Aww. Well, I guess we kind of want to get down there, but got to get the tendons to be not shy first. This one here mentioned a book to fix shyness, and I don't know, maybe we should try and find that. It's, it sounds like it'd be pretty useful. Well, uh, not really much else to do here, so let's go ahead and go. 
Hello, it's been a while since we talked. This is Apple Kid. We're having beautiful weather here. I'm now at Dr. Anna's lab in Winters. The doctor doesn't seem to be around right now, but I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. What? Hey, what's going on there, dude? Apple Kid? Hey, oh no, what are you doing to me? Who are you? Uh... Ness, I haven't talked to you with ages. This is Orange Kid. We're finally coming near the end of our research on how to change a boiled egg back into a raw egg. By the way, Apple Kid is missing. He left here saying that he was going to see Dr. Anna Nuts in Winters, and he never came back. I was hoping to borrow the book Overcoming Shyness from him, but suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read the book, so I'm not very good at talking. Sorry. I'm also working hard on my invention, so I hope you'll understand. Say hello to your friends for me. Uh, well, shit. I... Orange Kid mentioned a book, Overcoming Shyness, which I, I guess Apple Kid has, but something just kind of happened to the dude. I mean, I... Dang. I gotta go f find him. But I'm gonna fight this guy first, just because I can. Alright. The demonic petunia? He's very dangerous. You... I... I highly suggest taking him out as fast as you can, because he has this attack, which is basically the equivalent of Fire Gamma. That's a ton of damage against your whole party. It's basically the same thing as the fire attack that the Kraken did on me, which, as you remember, completely annihilated me almost. So yeah, that guy is fucking dangerous, and I don't suggest trying to run from it. Especially if you're with one of those stupid exploding trees, because it's very likely that it will nail you with its fire attack. <sighs> Anyway, um, uh, it might be a good idea to go find Apple Kid, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, if you like this, feel free to subscribe. This has been Baka Usagi, and I'll see you next time.